Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, it's your boy, man. I'm back with another one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that, man. I'm back, man. I'm back and I'm better. But, yo, I just got a few things I got to talk about, man. First, I'm going to start with Gunu, man. Rest in peace, Gun Wick, man, for real. But, yo, it's been over a year, right? It's been over a year. And this homicide is still unsolved, yo. He was backdoored on March of 2022. And now we in October of 2023. And his joint is still unsolved, yo. It's crazy, yo. It's crazy, son. So now I'm going to put together the three people I think that I could have had something to do with it. All right. This is all allegedly and this is all entertainment. All right. And... This is all information that's public on the internet. So don't get mad at me, y'all. Enjoy. All right, so now this is Money Reek. I know all y'all recognize Money Reek, all right? Money Reek was Gunu right here, man, right? But they say that Money Reek is not good around his way no more. I don't know about that, but from like 2017 to like 2020 to like to the end of 2020, Money Reek was cranking. You feel me? He was cranking. But they say that Money Reek's little brother was the one who bagged really clicking for his Glock. And I don't know about all that, man. This is all alleged. And they also say that Money Reek uh, is not good around his way no more because he wasn't stepping for Gunu. But... But Money Reek gave Gunu a shout out in the newest song he dropped, which is called Demon Creek, right? He gave Gunu a shout out. And he's one of the only rappers besides Lil Dude that I be hearing give him Gunu shout outs. You know, I see other rappers be giving him a little, other rappers be giving him like a half a bar at least. You know what I'm saying? Money Reek did the same thing. You know, he gave him a half a bar. Little dude be doing the same thing too, but I don't know, man. I'm just giving you the whole rundown right now. His mother says one bullet to the back ultimately. All right, so boom, right? This is another rapper who is from Forest Creek, but he's originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right? But. I don't know where he's from, to be honest, but I know he has ties to Forest Creek when he first moved to Maryland, right? Well, as y'all know, this is Mirax, right? Mirax, he's one of the hottest rappers for the younger generation. I could say that if Mirax didn't have any legal troubles, he probably would have been top three in the DMV. But, you know, once the system gets his claws in you, it's a rap. But anyway... Mirax says on the IG live that he got bagged by somebody from the creek, right? The person he got bagged by, they say that it's um Money Reek's little brother, and they used to be best friends, right? This is all alleged. I don't know if this is true or not, but all I'm saying is this is all alleged, right? And if you do some research, you'll know that really clicking the guy who allegedly shot Gunu twice, right, on two different occasions. Really clicking and Mirax have a song together, right? And the things they're saying in that song, man, I don't know, man. Sounds like a confession to me. <clears throat> but yeah, man. But Mirax right now, man, he's currently in jail. He's currently in jail. He's fighting the case. But before he got locked up, he was flexing the loud jewelry. And I have another video that I did a breakdown on why I think that Mirax took Gunu's jewelry but that's could that could be alleged too we killed him they wanted my son dead because he gave it up 
They took his chain, they took his watch. My AP nigga kept on flexing that little watch. So I came over with his AP. I can make you catch in the hops in the G. I'm fucking the opt out, she live in the creek. Fully AP. Moreau, who went by the stage name Gunu, was shot and killed in Prince George's County on March 18th. His death remains an open homicide investigation. There was an autopsy performed on his body. It was released to the funeral home. And the family tells me they wanted to have a celebration that they said properly reflected his life. This was at Bliss Nightclub at North. East DC. Fox 5 is not sharing images posted to social media, but I can tell you the body was upright on the stage. He was wearing jeans, a sweatshirt, and a crown as people celebrated around him. Moreau's sister says the family has received a lot of negative attention, but emphasized tonight, they don't care. We, don't. we want that message to be out. We celebrated the life of my brother how we want it. <laughs> That's him walking? Yeah, that's him now. Definitely him walking. He, he got the car already, though. Yeah. 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 I seen him, they hop on. Oh, they was already there. Right into the car. Yeah, but they tired What up, y'all? It's your boy, and I'm back with another one. But today, we got the tragic and sad story of one of the DMV pioneers. And I could say that a lot of rappers took his flow. And that is Gunu, real name Markel Moro. Gunu was born on May 14th, 1997, and he died on March 18th of 2022. Gunu is from the Forest Creek Apartments, and many rappers hail from there. There's been a beef that everybody knows about, which is the Clay Terrace versus Lincoln Heights, right? And in 2021, the rapper Sklish, who is Chicho on the Beat's cousin, got pressed in Iverson Mall by a little dude and his men. We don't know why that happened, but we all know that Chicho and um, Sklish stopped fucking with Gunu because Gunu is close with little dude. Now, I think that Gunu was killed because he was trying to play both sides between the Clay Terrace and Lincoln Heights beef because we all know Chicho and Gunu are like Dr. Dre and Eminem. And then from 2021 onward, we seen that Chicho was not messing with Gunu at all and Gunu was not on any Chicho beats from this incident going on forward. Now, according to the streets, they say that really clicking shot gunu the first time back in 2019 and if you guys are a fan of gunu's music you know that he dropped that album called back from he double hockey sticks right and if you look at the cover for that album or mixtape you'll see that it's gunu in the hospital bed with tubes and all that attached to him right and they say that really clicking dissed gunu in the song three style with him and mirror racks right and then, what the crazy thing is, you can match up what he said 
tell the IG live that Gunu had right before he passed away about how he got spent on. Like, you can really match it up word for word. Like, the way Gunu describes it is how really clicking raps about it in his song. Plug like how you, he just hopped out of Bentley. Shit fucked up, I had to spin my way. How about the car with the micro trick? Compact glocks coming from that A. Taxes, spin on your block, we don't hit double bags. It's just sticking my glock, you could think that I'm lacking. I'm splitting up O's, I think I'm good with fractions. Your favorite rapper, see me in each track. When that's in my no, I'm really trying to play me in there. How you looking for me and I'm looking for you? We both know that I ain't ducking you niggas. I know where you live and you be. Don't make this no beef, cause I come hustle you niggas. Red tips are denied in the fifth, hit them at the same time. I just punished the nigga. I'm dropping my young nigga off at the Navy Federal. He really sent him. It's a new year, so 2015. That's what happened. 2015. Now, um, you were shot once. Uh, what led to it? No, it wasn't. I was just cool. I was at this party. It was just the lights. Was, I was like a little trap party. Now, you know, I don't be going places by myself, but I was just on some cool shit. It was my first day off house arrest. I was just on some cool shit. So Celebrating. Just, yeah, but I ain't take nobody with me. I was just me, myself, and my uh, my uh, little friend. But uh, yeah, nah, we was in that uh, we was in that uh, in the party and shit. It was cool. The lights went out and shit. So I went in the backyard. I ain't for all that shit. So I went in the backyard. I was back there, back there, count my money and shit. And just count my money, all the shots that started going off and shit. But mind you, it was dark, it was just shots started going off. And then the next thing, they was just shooting my way. So um, I got hit. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't on no soldier boy and shit. I ain't finna act and none of that shit. <laughs> Them niggas got lucky. Them niggas ain't even hop out the car. I'm right here. Hold up. I'm right here. They right here. I'm rich. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. They, I'm right here. They right here. I'm rich, and you niggas ain't kill nothing. Y'all niggas gonna ride past 50, 50 miles per hour, shoot three shots, and y'all call that stepping. And then y'all, who y'all think it is, ain't even them. Come on, man. Y'all losing y'all so The niggas y'all think gangster niggas bitches, bro. You niggas ain't even standing for nothing. You niggas hoes. So guess what? Hey, hey, dog, nah, for real, man. Hey, <laughs> oh, dog, come around that corner with that drink, hitting it with an old dog. All right, so boom. So Gunu was shot in 2019, late 2019 or early 2020. I'm not really sure, but they say that really clicking was the one who did it the first time, right? And another thing, Gunu was on IG Live a few days before he passed away, and he talked about that situation exactly. I'm not going to put that video in here because I'm not trying to get clapped on here. But, yo. So, Gunu releases this mixtape, the Back From Hell mixtape, right? Which I say that is one of my favorite songs and mixtapes he dropped, right? And during this time when he dropped that, I didn't even know that Gunu was shot. But the thing is, Gunu took a little hiatus from like the, like, like the mid to end of 2019. But if you look at his discography, Gunu was dropping a lot of songs in uh, 2019 and 2018. You know what I'm saying? So Gunu survives getting shot by a Drake. It was a Draco, allegedly. That's what they say. So mind you, he got shot the first time and he survived, but he still went back to his hood. I forgot to add this in the video, but I was watching a short on Gunu when he was talking about how his op shot him the first and second time. And if you look at this comment by Bernard Jacobs, he said, damn, really? I put my own investigation together. I thought the nigga who died off of fake perk did it. And if we all know, really clicking, aka Mook, 
was the person who let off that fake perk. I think last year, December, or two years ago in December, there's really not a lot of information on really clicking his death. Not a lot of people reported it. And then another slide right here, he was like, LMAO, who died from a fake perk? And then somebody replied, really clicking. Hmm. All right, so boom. Right here, we got really clicking's IG page, right? And if you look at his name, his handle, it's Big Say So. Now, who else in the DMV calls themselves Big Say So, right? I think that little dude took his nickname after he died, right? But the thing with me is that I don't really know exactly when really clicking died. But we do know that little dude started calling himself Big Say So. He started saying it in all his songs. If you listen to little dude, you know he, he says Big Say So, Big Say So, Big Say So at the beginning of all his songs. Keep it real, y'all. Keep it real.